dressed up, man. I'm loving it. Let me know what y'all think, man. It's a nice view right here. I need to take a picture. What up, YouTube, man? Welcome back to the channel. We are literally closer than close from going live. Literally, we are three days away, man. Make sure y'all get in it to win it. But welcome back to the channel. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. We are back at it in the garage. About to bring some work to y'all and get some work done. But like I said, man, we are three days away from going live with the game time giveaway. So please get in it to win it if you have not done it yet. We literally got a few hours before 12, p 12 a.m. tonight. We are literally going to end the sale of 75 entries while you can enter the win right now at $40 by copying you a black built by Dre Keychain. It's so crazy. I have no idea like how easy I can say this stuff so fast. Like when you get to doing it so much, you're going to just say it real quick. But anyway, get in it to win it, man. We sliding out. How do y'all know what time it is, man? We're going to have to bring it to y'all live on the channel. Y'all see we got the joints up in the garage, but y'all going to see what's really going on today, man. So make sure you tap in and tune in and check it out, man, because we sliding. Yes, sir, man. This is how we looking. Got everything inside. So this is the cold part about it. About to roll the bike out today. I'm about to move it, put that windshield up on there, try to go for a quick little ride while it's not raining. Anybody aren't got a T-top, let me know. I'm waiting on one of my boys, supposed to have one, but I can't just be waiting because it got me in a headlock right now because I really need this car out the way. We're about to get to it, get some work done, try to get my boy uh, back fender, get these mother little pieces bolted up while we waiting on them powder coated parts to get done. And uh, I'm gonna get the handlebar sorted out. But y'all see what's going on, man. We're about to start the day off strong. Like I said before, we got three days into the giveaway. We got three actual days into the giveaway going live Christmas, man. I'm really trying to give it away on Christmas. That'll be one of the best days right now to start the year off strong and find out where that thing is headed. So if you had not got in to win it, please get in to win it right now. Like I said before, we got 75 entries until tonight, man. Get in to win it and copy a black Bill by Dre keychain right now for $40 live on sale, man. But um, we're about to get to it today, man. This weather is all over the place, but we got to adapt to it and still get this work done. Yes, yeah, sir, man. Now we got some space in this drone. So um, we're about to go ahead and roll this thing back, get that thing together, move that back out here, go from there. Somebody had commented on my video like, uh, so you don't need that big of a space to get a bike done. You don't even need a garage to get a bike done. I ain't gonna lie to you. If you got a hut literally from here to there, right here, that's all you need. But when you do it so many times, you want to have like with me, I love these little toolboxes and all this stuff because it make the biggest difference trying to keep everything organized. So you want space to maneuver around, but we didn't grow from where we came from. So it's just about keep going and knowing what you want and going for it. So that's what we're about to do, man. We're about to get some work in today, y'all. All right, so we got the bags back in here. That's the bag I got to take to Antonio. So um, after today's ride, I'm going to go head out there, check on my boy parts, drop that one off. But anyway, we got both of the bags right here aligned. I got my windshield from my guy, Mark. Shout out to him. He don't even know, man, because I'm telling y'all, riding these Road Kings with no windshield is some stuff. And I ain't going to lie, it's so much better with a windshield. I love the new ones, but I ain't spending five right now. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie to you. Last time I brought one from the dealership, me and my boy went up there. They was actually telling me Harley was discontinuing selling the newer ones, which is crazy. But I'm not tripping. This bike will be out of my hands within this week. So long as we got a windshield on there, got everybody, whoever's going to win this bike warm, nice and tight. We're going to just try to flood some red washers up on the front of there, blink it, blend in and look good with the rest of the bike. But um, that's pretty much it, man. I'm about to go ahead and throw that up on there and go for a test ride. But I honestly know it's about to be way better. Your boy is about 150 pounds, man. I ain't going to lie to you. With no sweater, I'll be looking like a damn twig for real in real life but um we about to get to it though man we slide it finally got the windshield on there i honestly like it see the problem that i was having i'm so used to sliding the windshield onto the rubber thing but i don't know why they was not trying to go on here like these was too big but i have to remember some of these road kings be having the windshield plus the actual uh nah that's backwards because mark just has some on the floor at his house and the ones he had set on the boat then i mean the windshield would have still sit on that rubber piece i don't know maybe these ones is different I'm gonna honestly go to Harley and get me some new ones so it could sit on the rubber piece and be actually flush. And then I'm gonna swap those uh, these treehouse boats out and put some Allens with some washers so it could look way better. But we got it going on, man. This thing look good. It's time to go for a ride and get a first startup. Now, what I gotta do? Shoes, helmet, fuck it, let's just start it up. I will say they gonna hate me being so loud, but we gotta get this content, man. Try this one more time. 
Pump it up. One, two, three, let's hear it. <laughs> We finally came back. I don't know how bad I want to get on the freeway, but we got the ground still wet. And I ain't gonna lie, I done fell so many times on almost every bike I didn't have while it was raining. I ain't gonna lie to you, I done did all that type of stuff. So I'll be trying to just be careful in real life because I'm telling you, our bodies is worth a million. So I ain't gonna say it. But uh, anyway, man, y'all see what time this thing looking good. We got the windshield up on there. Like I said, I'm not fully done with the bike. I still want to swap out all the chrome to black. It'll literally take me about like a week. But all these little boats, like all this right here, I want to put washers on the front just because we got the clear windshield on the black one i had before i had them only in the inside like my boy road king but we got nothing but time and opportunity right now so we're gonna just take advantage while we got it making it look better and better sliding out hiding and going from there but let me know what y'all think man we got the seat looking good with the black doll visor helmet juiced up man i'm loving it let me know what y'all think man it's a nice view right here i need to take a picture <laughs> So we got this thing finally back up in the air. So pretty much update you on everything. Not even that it doesn't even matter. But anyway, <laughs> we got all the motor stuff getting powder coated, glossy black. I didn't like the little flat satin. A lot of these screws, we're gonna add the chrome, uh, chrome washers. I mean, chrome allens with the color washers. But I want to get these pieces back. So we're gonna do that pretty much after. I gotta finish taking some pieces off like this break. Get this piece powder coated with the other piece. So I could do that on the second round trip when I pick up the first load. But um, I'm going to get the back fender on here, go over just back hardware, make sure all that stuff is right. And then we're going to start zip tying some of these wires up, cleaning that up because this bike was already on the way. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But like I told my boy, a few things had to get changed and overlooked and swapped out. So from there, you'll be 100 percent. So that's pretty much what we're doing. We're not really tearing the bike down. I would have loved for him to do the frame. But at the same time, I know how it is when you want to just get your bike out. when You've been dealing with multiple people and trying to just get it straight to the point. So that's the whole thing about what we're doing, man. We're trying to just get him 100 percent riding and sliding on this way. So today, like I said, we're going to do that back fender, finish unbolting some pieces, getting everything ready for powder coat. I got to go to Harley and get... um. The whole engine gasket set again for everything up on here. The front end is pretty much complete. I'm going to put the brackets on for the blinkers and all of that. I'm not going to put the outer fairing really on yet as bad as I want to. I'm going to wait just because I want to make sure everything else is fully wired up and everything is good before I try to close that up and think it's just going to start automatically, you know? That's the thing about that. But um, we on our way, though, man. We get into it. Like I said, if you need any work done and you want to get your bike touched by your boy, Dre, all you got to do is email me at builtbydre at yahoo.com or you can reach out in the comments on Instagram, any of that. So... Just hit your boy up, man. We ain't here working though. Y'all see what time it is.
So I ain't gonna lie, your boy was going through some shit right now, but um, I'm not sure where the CVO fender was purchased, but it looks A1 and nice. He looking good for sure. I don't know why I was just going through so much hassle, but that's how it is sometimes. We got all four bolt, all four fender bolts bolted up. I gotta get the bracket, bolt this up on the here, and then we're gonna tighten this screw. Then we're gonna get two more to hold the bracket for the support of the back fender. But like I said, most majority of these screws about to have chrome allens and washers. My main thing is like I did with that bike, I wanna get everything really complete. Then when it's really there, I already know what, what to swap out with the bolts. That's why I got everything right here bagged up. So it's all organized and all gonna make sense in the end. But um, we're making progress. We got the back fender fully bolted up on there. So probably tomorrow we're gonna have the gas tank um, on just so I can try it. Well, now I gotta get the ignition still. Once you get the ignition to me, I'll be able to test the lights, make sure everything back there is plugged up how it should and go from there. But I just wanna run through everything step by step, little by little, so everything could be what it needs to be. But like I said, this bike is not gonna take long. This thing will be running complete within the next two weeks. I'm telling y'all, just stay tuned for the final finished product. We ain't here working on y'all see what time it is. Before we end this video, like I said, man, we three days away from going live. So get in at the winning for the bike right here. We still got color. At, uh, washers chrome allens powder coated black parts floorboards a few other little pieces we're gonna throw this bike before we release it but if i can go live christmas day and give it away to see where it's headed that'll be my main thing so we can start the year off right right before new year's giving it to the winner man so make sure you're in it to win it 40 dollars built by dre black keychain man 75 entries until tonight tomorrow's gonna be a different story take advantage of the sale y'all we sliding not hiding